Now is often the time when we do a bit of spring cleaning, and typically with it, organizing. Our own Kevin Maychak talked to one expert who gave us some advice when it comes to actually getting organized. Professional organizer Angela Loveless suggests the first place you may want to begin organizing is the kitchen. You don't want to create that chaotic environment for the morning when kids are scrambling to pack lunch, you can't find the backpack, the homework assignment from the night before is really very stressful. So if you have a process in place to help the family get going in the morning, it gets everybody's day off to a much nicer start. Good place to start, an easy first thing I think for people to start with is their pantry. Because you can go through and pull out any food that might be expired um, and if you, anything you might have an excess of. People do like to collect tea, I know. Um, and then organize it so that every, the like things are together. Like put all your breakfast items together in one spot. You might want to put, you know, all your baked, all your items for baking together. Another area to think about purging is your appliances. We tend to get those when they're maybe trendy or on sale. For instance, the panini press, which may or may not be used a lot, might be something that you could donate and pass on and let go. Or, you know, to Cuisinarts of different sizes. Maybe you don't need um, both of those. So that's another good area that you can... Um, minimize too. You know, a lot of them do duplicate things as you're thinking about creating space. I mean, if you were able to eliminate some of these appliances, you could have more space in your pantry for other things. You may also consider making a file system for your mail, bills, and other important documents. I do recommend that when the mail comes every day, you know, do go through it right away. You can quickly um, sort out things that might be direct marketing pieces that can be recycled easily. Um, you want to have a place where you can file your bills that's easily accessible as you go through and you can file, file the bills easily. And then um, there are items that might need more information or medical bills. If it's something that requires a further action, you can put it in an action file. I know a lot of people are sometimes uncomfortable or afraid if they can't see it, they won't do it. So I do encourage people then, you know, if it makes you feel better before putting it in the action file to um, go ahead and write it down on a to-do list or if you have an electronic to-do list that you prefer, either one is fine, it doesn't really matter as long as you um, use it. Another super simple thing to organize in your kitchen is your Tupperware. You know, it's like anything else, you need to decide how much space you want to devote to that in your kitchen. Um, you get as much as you have room for. And I, the first thing to do is go through and make sure that everything has a matching lid. Um, if there's no lid for the jar, there's no real reason to hang on to it. And that's an, a quick and easy one that you can tack, you should be able to tackle on your own. No emotional attachments to uh, Tupperware generally. When it comes to other areas of organization, there are lots of apps out there. Some remind you of important tasks, others of things that you need at the grocery store. But it can be overwhelming because there are a lot of options. You know, you can find the one that works for you and stick with it. Um, you know what, but don't be afraid to resort back to good old fashioned paper. And if you still need support, professional organizers like Angela offer strategies that can help you help yourself. It is an accountability factor when you're working with an organizer. They can keep you on task, you know, keep you focused, you know, make you accountable for completing the project. Whichever part of the home needs organizing, it can be done and will be worth it in the end. So take the time to organize. Pick wherever you want to start that's giving you the most trouble um, because your home should rise up to meet you. You want to you want to walk in the door and feel good, not feel your shoulders bunch because of the stress of a mess. So um, make the commitment to yourself to pick an area and get it done. You will be so glad you did. Another tip, get rid of excess items you may have been holding on to, but no longer have value and only create clutter. A professional organizer can offer an outside perspective on what it is you need to purge.